Alright, how's it going guys? My name is TJP, and today we're going to be rebuilding the Washington Wizards. Now, when, I've made, when I'm making this video, it just came out, like the trade was just made, so by the time you're seeing this, it'll be a few days after, but Russell Westbrook is now a member of the Washington Wizards. So we're going to be rebuilding the Washington Wizards with Bradley Beal and Russell Westbrook. Uh, this should be interesting. Um, I don't know exactly how this is going to pan out, but... I mean, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, with that being said, if you guys are enjoying this kind of content, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Comment down below some more future rebuilding ideas. As well as check out my description for more my NBA, my WNBA playlists and videos. Uh, that's where the playlist is. And then my Twitch, Twitter, Discord is also in the description as well. You might as well check those out. Uh, but that being said, let's get on with the video. Here we are. So we have, like I said before, Russell Westbrook just recently traded. We also have Bradley Beal. So their contracts kind of align. Uh, both have two years left on their deal. We have Rui Hachimura, Thomas Bryant, um, uh, Davis Bertans, who they just recently re-signed. So that's good. T Troy Brown Jr., Moritz Wagner, uh, uh, Danny Aviha, Udiha, um, the rookie that they drafted. Uh, so nothing like too ridiculous, I don't think. Um, I might look to make a move at the deadline, but honestly, like, unless we have too many of a position, uh, which we don't. I mean, I guess we have like one too many point guards, but that's about it. Like, I could flip Neto, but he's on a one-year deal. Like, what am I gonna get? Like a second-round pick for him? Maybe. I mean, I'll look to make a deal. Let me let me see if there's something around. Otherwise, I'll maybe just see us at the trade deadline. Honestly, I'm just gonna do this deal with the Nuggets. The only reason I'm doing this deal is uh, I don't know if we need three point guards. Um, I don't mind having another small forward, I guess. Um, and we also get a second round pick. So I'll just deal with the Nuggets. Um, we could possibly use that second rounder in a potential trade. Maybe we could develop this guy. Maybe he becomes something. Who knows? But that's really the only move I'm gonna make. Uh, maybe at the trade deadline I'll make something. I mean, we are starting small forward is Troy Brown Jr. Um, the team is... Uh, they might be a playoff team. They may not be. Um, I don't think with Westbrook and Beal, we're going to really do that much. <laughs> but, um, yeah, like, we might make the playoffs, but we're at best a first round exit. So, I'll stimulate to the trade deadline. If I don't make a move there, I'll make a move. Otherwise, I'll just show you guys the stats. Of course, 2K. Literally, 2K doesn't make any sense. How are we the number two seed? I mean, we're 33 and 18. I'm not complaining, but it just doesn't make any sense at all. Bradley Beal is having a great year. I guess Westbrook is having a good year as well. I mean, it's really... I guess we're just getting carried. I don't really know. Uh, Denny of Diha is having a good season as well. David, Davis Bertans... Uh, you know, 16 million a year, 9.7 9 points a game. Might want a little bit more, considering we have Rui Hachimura. Uh, so I might look to flip Davis in the offseason. We'll see. I don't know. Um, Thomas Bryant also, you know, I guess I guess we have a decent team. I, I Maybe I, maybe I uh, underestimated this team. But, yeah, I'm kind of surprised that we're the number two seed, but... Knowing 2K now that I said that, we're probably going to start losing a bunch of games. But I'm just going to simulate the rest of the season. I'm not going to make any moves. We'll ride it out with this team. All right, Luka Doncic was the MVP. LaMelo Ball, six, Rookie of the Year. Six Man of the Year, Ricky Rubio. Giannis Defense Player of the Year, Most Improved, goes to RJ Barrett. Coach of the Year, Steve Nash. Lance Alford is the Executive of the Year. So, all NBA first team. We got Luka Doncic, Damian Lillard, Giannis Antetokounmpo. LeBron James and Nikola Jokic. Uh, let's see if we actually have any Wizards. I doubt we will. I doubt we will. Oh, Russell Westbrook on all defensive second team. That's actually nice to see. Uh, Westbrook putting up 22, 7, and 6. Stealing a half a game, block, half a block game. Uh, pretty good stuff from him. Uh, did he, he might have also shot a career high from the field as well. He did. Uh, so that's good to see from him. Uh... Also, Danny uh, Abdiha with the uh, all-rookie first team. Good to see there. 10 points, 5 rebounds, and like 5 assists. So kind of did his thing out there. Uh, so yeah, pretty good stuff there from our team. So we were the 6th seed, though. We did drop down in standings, but 
If I had to guess, if I had to guess, uh, yeah. They're all pretty close for the most part. Um, but, uh, yeah, pretty good stuff. So, let's take a look now at our, um player stats for the rest of the team like i said bradley beal once again got snubbed for making an all nba team uh but uh, if you guys want to check out the stats here for the most part pretty good um so yeah uh we're taking on boston in the first round uh so i'm not sure how this is gonna go we don't have any injuries but that's you know beside the point like i said we're probably gonna lose uh we okay we won a game at least okay it's 2-2 can we go up 3-2 no it's 3-3 or 3-2 Boston and we get eliminated in six so not too surprising there but we put up a little bit of a fight we might have to look to make a move in the offseason maybe try to get the get a little bit better uh well we might have some cap but not a lot as the Miami Heat win the championship Bam Adebayo was the uh, finals MVP so I'm gonna simulate to the offseason and we're gonna make some moves all right so we're at the NBA draft um I mean Thomas Bryan is uncertain I don't know what it is about big men in this game but they just get annoyed this guy's aggro so i don't want him on my team but i probably can't even trade him because he's not even good um we have also our first round pick yeah it's not gonna get us anything but if i do him and davis bertans or i can't can i just not trade him all right i guess i can't trade him uh, well i'm not going to accept his team option then um i'm just gonna see what it, what can i get for uh davis bertans I mean, I could clear up some cap. I get a pick. We might as well do that. Could get Clint Capella. Could do that. We could do that. So I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Um, I can't really trade our pick. So whatever, whoever we take, Jaden Springer, I'm cool with that. Team player options. So. We'll accept most of these guys. Actually, we'll accept all these guys. Yeah, screw it. Uh, we're not going to have any cap, I don't think. Do we have any qualifying offers? I mean, Isaac Bonga, who doesn't really want to sign with us. So, I don't even know if we have cap. Yeah, we don't. Um, so, we can't really afford anybody, quite frankly. Also, LeBron James is going to be no longer a free agent since he signed his extension and they put that into the game. So, free agency is now a lot... A little less exciting also anthony davis signed his extension as well um as you know at the time of me recording this so again his the free agency is not as enticing like Giannis, Kawhi, pg not enticing not enticing anymore so not as much player movements so i can't cheese like i was doing before um but i'm just gonna see what i can do uh fill out the rest of the roster i'm gonna make i'm gonna definitely look to make some trades all right so we are at the start of the second season i'm gonna look to see what we've got in our roster so i did i didn't uh bring back ish smith but i did get reggie jackson as well as picked up Ersan Ilyasova. um so i'm assuming ruri hachimura will be the starting small well we have power forward i mean he was already last year um in terms of coaching game plan i mean westbrook and beal Looks like they're going to be the guys. And then, you know, Danny of Dija is now our starting small forward. Rui Hachimura and Thomas Bryant. Really not a lot of changes, but I'm going to see if there's any moves that I can make to possibly make this team better. Um, I did talk about flipping possibly Davis Bertans. Um, so let's see what we can get. I'm going to do this deal with the Atlanta Hawks. Uh, I'm going to give up a future second pick and Davis Bertans. We're going to get Clint Capella on the team. Um, so what does that basically mean for... Uh, Thomas Bryant. Um, it means I might either make him a power forward or look to flip him. All right, I'm going to do this deal with the Rockets. We're going to give up Thomas Bryant and Jerome Robinson. We're going to get Christian Wood, who's a nice player to have in this game, uh, and Daniel House. Um, at some point, I'm probably going to end up flipping them in the offseason because uh, we, we're going to need some cap. But also, another thing too that I noticed, so there's a 2022 draft. I don't know if that's accurate or not, but if it is, we might look to see if we should draft anybody from there. So uh, I'm going to check that out. I'm trying to fix my camera here. But um, yeah, other than that, um, I'm just going to simulate to the trade deadline, show you guys the stats, and we'll go from there. All right, so we're we're game under 500. We're the ninth seed. Not doing that great, to be honest. I thought we'd be doing a little bit better, but we're not. Um, Bradley Beal putting up 25. Uh, Russell Westbrook, 24. 
uh, seven and seven, pretty much. I mean, he's having a good year. Both having a good year, good seasons. Christian Wood, um, Dan Danny Avdija is also playing well. So five guys having double figures. Um, I don't know who's annoyed and who's not. Uh, Rui Hachimura is outraged, so that's doesn't really make any sense why he's outraged. But oh, probably because he's not starting. Uh, that would probably make sense. Uh, Clint Capella is triggered. Don't know why he is, since he's the starting center, but he is. Um, we're going to have to trade a bunch of people. Um, so I'm going to make some moves. I'm going to make some moves. Uh, just see if I can get some picks for 2022 or something like that. Mostly just scrubs. I'm probably just mostly trade scrubs, but well, I'm going to do that now. All right, so I'm going to do this deal with Dallas. We're just going to get Dorian Finney-Smith, uh, Troy Brown Jr. We also get a first-round pick. We have to give up a second future first-round pick, which we'll probably just use in a trade. Um, just because Troy Brown Jr., he's not really getting much playing time, and he's annoyed, so just don't want that to affect team chemistry too much. All right, I'm going to do this deal with the Orlando Magic. We're going to get Jonathan Isaac. Um... Because he use, usually wins Defense Play of the Year. So we'll have to give up Clint Capella and Reggie Jackson. But I'm fine with that. Um, we'll also add an exception. There we go. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. So um, let me see if I need to make one more trade uh, for uh, Rui Hachimura. He might want to leave still. Because he's still kind of an outraged. Let's just see what we can get for him. He should be pretty valuable. Maybe we can get like a decent player for him. Uh, so let's look. Ooh, Colin Sexton? Colin Sexton? Dude. Yes. Colin Sexton's a beast. And we also get rid of Vlatko Kan Kankar or whatever. I will take Colin Sexton. He puts up beast numbers in this game, so... That's actually a decent player. Now, granted, granted, he'll have to come off the bench. And now Danny of D has got to come off the bench. But I just think in terms of talent, we do have a better team. Can I give my, can I just go eight man rotation? Or nine? Who's getting minutes before? Ilyasova? All right, we're going to do that. So let's just simulate the rest of the year uh, with this team, see how it goes. I'm um, in the off season. I'll probably look to clear some cap and see if I need to make any moves. But this team is interesting now. Okay, we were terrible. Uh, we went on, I guess we uh, went on a losing streak. So we got, someone got hurt. Luka Doncic MVP, Evan Mobley, rookie of the year. Okay, so the rookies are, yeah, okay. I guess he won the rookie of the year. Derek Rose, sixth man of the year. That's interesting. Jonathan Isaac, who we traded for, defensive player of the year. So that's nice to see. Good for him. Uh, had a good year. Uh, two block, two, over almost two and a half blocks a game, and nearly two steals a game. It's pretty good for a small forward. Terry Halburn, most improved player, coach of the year, Mike Malone, and also Kyle Harper, executive of the year. I'm not gonna expect to see any Wizards here, except for maybe Russell Westbrook or Beal. Westbrook had a nice season, 23, seven and seven. Good to see from him. Also shot a career high from the field. Jonathan Isaac, obviously, also gonna be all defensive first team. He had shin splints, so he's day-to-day, -day, so he's hurt, but it doesn't really matter since we didn't make the playoffs. Uh, but other than that, yeah, we, were, we weren't we were good. Um, I guess someone got hurt that someone probably might have been... Well, I don't know who it would have been, but... Uh, three guys averaging over 20 points a game. Now, granted, we did trade for Colin Sexton, so, you know, he's okay. Um... He's probably annoyed. I don't know why Christian Wood is fed up, but whatever. I, again, I don't understand this game. Apparently, we signed Isaiah Thomas. Um, okay. Um, but other than that, um, we got some we got some work to do in the offseason. Because I don't think we can even win the championship next year. I think we might have to go a fourth season with this as the Nets beat the Nuggets in the finals. And Kyrie Irving's the finals MVP. We need to make some moves. We got to make some big moves. We got to clear cap. It's going to get interesting. So I'm going to do this deal with the Hawks. We're going to get Derrick Rose. Um, do I want to get Derrick Rose? I think I do. Or do I want Cody Zeller? Just because I have a lot of guards. Maybe I'll do this deal. I'm going to do this deal with the Spurs instead. Granted, I pro Derrick Rose is better than Cody. Well, probably better than Cody Zeller. But also, Cody Zeller is on a one-year deal. And we get a second round pick as well. We're giving up Jaden Springer. 
You're not really gonna play much, so I'm not really too upset about that. All right, so we get a, uh, yeah, the draft wasn't real. Uh, we get Val Milton, Carlos. I'll just sign this guy Chase Toscano. Why not? Might as well. He's probably better than most minimum guys we get anyway. Um, both Bradley Beal and Westbrook are free agents. Danny of Deha, we're gonna bring him back, and we're obviously gonna decline Cash as Winston. So we actually might have some cap. Qualifying offers, well, obviously, then we'll also bring on Colin Sexton as well. Um, but knowing that, he'll probably just sign on the restricted. Uh, we could get KD. KD, you want to come to the Wizards? You want to come back home, KD? Dude, if I can get KD, Beal, and Westbrook, it would be goals. But KD doesn't want to come to our team. Now, Harden, on the other hand... Harden, on the other hand, might want to come to the team. Okay, so we can get Harden. Here's what I'm going to do. Because what, what's going to happen is, I think I could still get Westbrook and Beal. I don't know how it's going to work, but we're going to try this. We're going to try this. So, KD went to the Heat. Cool with that. So we'll, we'll do this. Okay. KD also is not on the heat. What a surprise. Now Westbrook, we could do this. I think Beal got signed. Yeah, Bradley Beal got signed, but... We do get Westbrook back. Yeah, Bradley Beal got signed. Okay, um, Colin Sexton's still here. We cannot get Colin Sexton, so we lost out on Colin Sexton. I might have, I might have, I might have messed up. I might have messed up. Um, well, Chris Dunn. I guess Chris Dunn. We're gonna get Chris Dunn, maybe. Four point nine five million. Chris Dunn. Chris Dunn. Okay, we get Chris Dunn. I'm just gonna fill out the rest of the roster uh, with some like, just some guys, and then I'll see you guys at the start of the season. Dude, I think I messed up this team. I actually think I messed up this team. <sighs> I, I I messed up this team. I definitely messed up this team. Um. I, I feel like we got worse. I don't know why, but I feel like we got worse. But I can't trade anybody of the I can't trade any of these guys. What does Jonathan Isaac give me? I'm just curious what I can get for Jonathan Isaac. Like, do I get better? I can get Clay. Uh Brandon Ingram. Better score. KP, but I have to give Christian Wood, and Paul George. Yeah, there's really not much out there. I'd have to I'd have to like create a trade. Um, that would possibly work, but honestly, we're just gonna roll with this team. I, I don't know what to expect um, This should be fun. So we're gonna simulate to the trade deadline I might look to make a move if everything's going wrong We're just gonna blow up the team and try get try again next year one more shot and just say screw it and swing for the fences but otherwise Let's just wish for the best. All right, so we're actually not doing awful. We're 30 and 24 so James Harden's having a good year, 26 and 7. Westbrook putting up 26 and 7. Uh, Danny's making that next step, becoming our third leading scorer. Um, overall, pretty good. Um, we have eight guys averaging double figures. That's pretty incredible. Jonathan Isaac is triggered. Um, not sure how I should feel about that. Boban is outraged. I'm surprised Boban Marjanovic is getting outraged, but. How, what, what could I possibly get for Jonathan Isaac? That would be an upgrade for this team. Guys, I just want to just, I just think this is funny. Um, full circle, Harden and Westbrook. We have Harden and Westbrook. Rockets have John Wall and Bradley Beal. Actually hilarious. It goes first full circle, ladies and gentlemen. Right, I'm trying to look for a trade here. I don't know exactly what I want to do. Can I get Jokic? I can't afford him. What if I get rid of... 
who's a better is Chris Dunn more valuable can I do that probably not what if I did this no I can't seem to afford any of this it's too expensive for them Barnes Will Barton Brian White most 15 players on the run oh yeah I don't know I'm, I'm, I'm trying to come up with a trade here to get like a big player but nothing seems to be working um I mean can get can I get LeBron no nah, I can't get LeBron no way uh Siakam Siakam is 35 million dollars really 35 million. Okay, what if they do that? Will they? Okay, they did it. Probably overpaid. I definitely overpaid. But you know what? I wanted to switch up the, the, the team a little bit. It might make sense from the standpoint that we unleash. I don't know. I don't know. It just might. It just seems to make sense in my head. So we did that. We just did that. Can we actually sign somebody in free agency? Do we have the spot for it? Okay, we don't. Okay, so I'm just gonna simulate the rest of this year and hopefully uh, things continue to get better and we make the playoffs. Okay, Luka Doncic, once again, MVP. Alexi Simon was the rookie of the year. Six man beer goes to D'Angelo Russell. Uh, Jonathan Isaac, who we just traded, defense player of the year. Uh, Kyra Lewis is the most improved player. Taylor Jenkins, coach of the year. I don't know who he coaches. And then Kyle Harper was the uh, executive of the year. So good to see, um, I guess, from him. Uh, do we have any Wizards on any of these teams? We do. We have D Danny Avia made all NBA third team. Really? Wow, that is impressive. Uh, 18, 8, and 6. This guy must be legit. This guy is definitely legit. Like, that's... That's pretty legit, dude. That's pretty legit. Um. Okay, I'm actually kind of excited now. Also, Val Milton Carlos, who we drafted with pick 11, smiling uh, because he averaged 11 points a game and made all rookie second teams. That's nice to see from him. Um, so, yeah, we were the three seed, taking on the Heat in the first round, uh, which is awesome. Uh, let's take a look at our player stats. Like I said, we traded for Siakam and, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm actually kind of glad that we did that. Um, you know, we actually have a lot of guys, just eight guys average double figures. So that's great to see the chemistry is looking pretty good. Um, most part, everyone's happy except for Boban, but I don't really care. All right. So I'm going to move myself to the top right of the screen. So that way you guys can actually see me. I'm just going to push in my chair a little bit. I feel like you guys can't see my face. Okay, so we're taking on uh, Miami game one. Uh, everyone seems to be healthy, good. So let's see if we can beat them. Round one, we beat them. Or game one, we beat them. We're playing them in round one. We're up 2-0, can we go up 3-0? Okay, 2-1, let's try to make it go 3-1. Nope, we're gonna go down 2-2. Two, two. Wow, okay, so TK logic. Down Up 2-0 and then we blow three straight games. So what's going on here? Why are we gonna blow the game to uh, Who's hurt? Someone got hurt. Because there's no way Boban Marjanovic is my... Or, or, I guess Cody Zeller is the starting center, technically. Um, Alright, so let's simulate with SimCast what, what's going on here. Why are we not beating the Heat? Alright, we're losing. We're losing. Okay. We got blown out in the third quarter. We're getting blown out. Wow, that's an embarrassment to my friends and family as we uh, choke um, in the playoffs. What a surprise. And unsurprisingly, the Celtics win the NBA championship with Jason Tatum being the Finals MVP. Um, I'm a little annoyed considering the circumstances. So I'm going to do another season because I feel like I got screwed over by 2K simulation once again. All right, I'm just going to do this deal with the Pistons. We're going to give up two seconds and Chris Dunn for Duncan Robinson and a second this year, like a later second. So, um, that's really the only move I'm going to make. I, we also had a first round pick, so I guess we're going to take a draft and stash who I'm going to trade, because why would I, why would I want to do that? And I guess Carl Gregory, who will sign, 
just because I don't have any money. Uh, obviously, these guys were, were bringing back on team deals. I don't think we have any qualifying players, so uh, we have we have very little, little very little, um, unless someone here wants to sign money, uh, sign for cheap, which no one does. We're just gonna have to do some trades. If 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 I don't feel if I feel we're underperforming, I am going to demolish the team. All right, so this is the rotation. Um, I guess we signed Steve Nash as our coach. I didn't even wasn't even aware of that, but. Um, yeah, I am, if the team is not doing well, I'm going to look to just destroy the team and then just go from there. Honestly, like we're not doing another season. I'm curious to see what I can get for James Harden and Pascal Siakam. I can only get Ben Simmons and Tobias Harris, which I don't really want. I don't really want to do. Uh, just James Harden, I can get Stephen Curry and Drew Holiday. That's an interesting move. Jimmy Butler and Eric Gordon. Um, well, if I need to make a trade. Um, at the trade deadline, you most certainly will see me making trades. All right, we're in a tough spot because we're the fifth seed. We're 30 and 23. I feel like we have, no, oh, we don't have any injuries. Um, the team itself, I only have five guys averaging double figures. That's interesting. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, Christian Wood is close. So is Cody Zeller. I mean, close, close to it. But, um, yeah, with Jabari Parker, <laughs> we have Jabari Parker and Austin Rivers. Um... Chase is annoyed. Um, so we have a couple guys that are annoyed. I'm, I'm gonna look to make some minor moves to make my team better now, like trading the draft and dash guy. Um, but other than that, like, I'll look, I, I will once again look to see what I can get and then go from there. But I'm just gonna show you guys the moves that I make. All right, this move will make us somewhat better now. Evan Fournier and Willie Hernan Gomez for. Johan Fredrickson and Chase Ticino. We're gonna get these two guys. I think just having Evan Fournier will be better than having these two guys. Um, so yeah, we're gonna make that move. Very, 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 very tempting to do this deal. We get Zach Levine. We get Kobe White. Cause Russell Westbrook is He's still having a good year. And then this guy is really good, but he's not real. I think I'm gonna, I, I'm, I'm, I, I don't know. I don't know. I think, I think we should do this deal. I just think that we have to do this deal. We have to do this deal. Dude, he's four and a half star, damn. We're doing it, we did it. Not a, probably wasn't the smartest thing in the world to do, but we're taking a risk. I, I honestly think that like we weren't gonna get out of the first round if we didn't make a move. I think this might help us get out of the first round. Um, only time will tell. I could have made a dumb mistake. The chemistry is at thirty nine percent, but you know what? It's a risk I'm willing to take. So let's just simulate the rest of the year and see how we do. All right, Giannis was the MVP. Uh, Glenn Berry, Rookie of the Year on the Raptors. Sixth Man of the Year, Jonathan Kuminga. Giannis, also Defense Player of the Year. Most improved goes to Dwayne Ferguson. Coach of the Year, Taylor Jenkins. And also Matthew Ash, Executive of the Year for, I guess, the same team. Um, All-NBA teams, we have Danny of the Once again, how did he make All-NBA second team? How? How did he make All-NBA second team? I don't even know how, but he did. Dude, the small forwards must be weak this year. Just the forwards in general. Like, wow. Dude, how did how did KD not make it? KD averaged 28 and had a 50-40-90 season, and he only made all NBA 13. That that's just not right. Like, I think I think, dude, they love Danny. They this game loves Danny and Vita. It makes no sense. I like I'm actually the, the controlling this team and that makes no sense he should not be all nba second team but all right we're taking on the knicks in the first round we're the fifth seed so we we actually didn't do that bad we're six power ranking so if that means anything zach levine was hurt but he's better now um seems the chemistry is actually decent besides willie hernan gomez but whatever not really much i could do about that um and then this guy those are the stats. Um, in terms of coaching game plan, we're going to do that. All right, we're taking on the Knicks. Game one, 
in the first round. Let's beat the Knicks, please. Right, they beat us by 11. All right, we're down 2-0 to the Knicks. Don't go down 3-0. Okay, 2-1. Let's tie it up 2-2. Okay, 3-2. Us. Let's go. Can we go to a game six? Let's sim cast it. Let's sim cast it. Uh, we got blown out in the first quarter. Uh, blown in the second. All right, we won the third, and we're getting blown out in the fourth. So that was terrible. All right, game seven. As Kyrie Irving's on the Knicks, that's interesting. Uh, quarter one, we won quarter one. We're winning quarter two. It looks like a blowout. Oh yeah, it's a route. We're going to the second round, baby. That trade was actually worth it. So we did get we did get past the first round. So we are going to the second round. So that's nice. Take on Atlanta. Atlanta's probably going to beat us, but we'll give it a shot. Let's see. They're, they're up 1-0 on us. They blew us out by 30. Okay, we, we tied it up, though. We tied it up. Can we go up 2-1? Ooh, we go up 2-1. Okay, okay. Game three. All right, they tied up 2-2. Game four. Or five, sorry. All right, 3-2. 3-2, 3-2, 3-2. All right. Evan Fournier is injured. Okay. Let's adjust the rotation. Sure. Um, I mean, he was coming off the bench, but still, that's a little hard. Don't tell me the first we're going to get is the second round. Probably. All right. Quarter one. All right. It's back and forth. It's close. All right. We're up. We're winning. They're winning. Now we're winning. Now they're winning. Now we're winning. And we get eliminated. Nice. 2K. Way to go. 2K is the best. I love 2K. 2K is so good. Such a great game. Hawks win the chip. Dude, I don't know what it is, but I have I'm just having trouble rebuilding teams in NBA 2K21. WNBA is fine, but I eventually get a championship, but the NBA just I can't seem to do it. Alright guys, well that's gonna be it for today's uh rebuild hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did make sure to leave a like subscribe if you're not subscribed already comment down below some more future rebuilding ideas check the description down below the video to check out my WNBA NBA rebuilding playlist as well as my twitch or discord uh, with that being said I'm terrible at rebuilding teams in NBA 2k21 next gen but as long as you're enjoying the content that's all that matters uh, but anyways enjoy the rest of your day or night take care peace